In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to get your traps bigger and how I did it myself. I'm Bob Mikulacek and welcome to Bob Mikulacek Fitness YouTube channel. Then I'll play the look my mama, mama, I made it to Forbes. <laughs> mama, I made it to Forbes. <laughs> Start the video. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and talk about how I got my traps bigger in the last eight months that I've been bulking. Now I've obviously been cutting for a little bit and they're really starting to pop. So the way that I did this is for starters, I lightened the weight on literally every shrugging movement. So little backstory, I used to hit basically my traps on my back days. So this was once to two times a week basically because I was on a four day split and nothing was really working. I had a lot of neck pain because I'd always put like 225 on the bar and be shrugging the weight and not really feeling out the muscle. And so, you know, I was looking online, I'm even on YouTube and I'm like, how can I perfect this? How can I make my traps grow? I came across a couple of videos you know, basically getting to the science of the traps and um, doing my own research on Google and how the trap is a huge muscle that basically comes all the way down to here, connects to your spine, comes actually all the way over here and even up your neck as well a little bit. So I was having a lot of neck issue. I was doing a, you know, a lot of this where you just kind of jerk the weight. I'm sure you guys have seen that guy who puts like 16 plates on each side. And he's like, like this. I think it's like called like the chicken. I don't even know what it's called on YouTube. But I was doing that a lot and my traps were simply not growing. So I did a lot of my research and a lot of time and in eight months I really wanted my traps to grow and as you guys saw from the thumbnail picture my traps have grown a lot and the main reason for this is because this bulk I added the frequency to this bulk so essentially instead of only doing it twice a week I was doing it anywhere between six to seven times a week so every day besides leg days and even sometimes on leg day I was basically hitting traps and the three key movements that I've been doing is going to be with the barbell. So adding basically a plate to two plates on each side, but doing it slow and controlled. As you guys can see in this clip, um, as you guys can see, we're here, we have the weight kind of carried down, and then we come back up with it, hold it for two seconds. This was a great one for mass. Like I said, overall, the traps are a very big muscle group. So you can hit it with a lot of weight, but controlled weight. This is really going to hit those traps. I'm a firm believer, and especially in traps, I, I, between any other muscle, to really focus on that form. Another movement I did is with the dumbbells. Simply coming up to here, bringing the dumbbells out in front of you, and slow and controlled and coming back. Another one of these key things that I did was with the dumbbell because almost like any other thing, you want to make sure that they grow evenly. I've seen a lot of people do with the bar like this and then they'll come up almost on one side and not the other. So that dumbbell gives you kind of like that one arm and really focus on squeezing up there. Another great exercise that I did as well as with the cables. The cables are going to be a full constant tension on the trapezius itself and really good for getting that full contraction throughout and keeping tension throughout the whole entire exercise. The main thing, you know, I want to go ahead and say this because there's always like, I always find those people that are always looking for like that magic you know, exercise, well, you know, this new secret that, you know, is coming out to build these amazing muscles. When in reality, that's just not the case. I believe in adding frequency, like I said, six to seven times a week. Let me go ahead and get into that in a minute. Frequency and keeping it slow and controlled and making sure to hit the muscle. Like any other muscle, I'm sure you guys have heard of these programs where if you want to get your squat up, you squat every day. There's special programs out there for lagging muscles that I'm a true believer in to really bring them up. So with the traps, hitting them six to seven times heavy is not ideal exactly. So what I would do is two to three times a week, I would go heavy on them. Still keeping that good contraction and breaking down that muscle. And then anywhere between, let's see, like three to four times a week, I would just stimulate them. So essentially, instead of doing my eight to 12, I would do 12 to 20 reps, really getting that good pump in the traps. That way they're not totally broken down. They're just stimulated for growth. This has really helped me and it's something that I've really never done before besides this bulk. And obviously you guys can tell, like I said with the thumbnail picture, that it definitely worked out for me. That as well, something that I didn't do prior to the bulk was really deadlift or do rack pulls, which I believe this is a firm kind of really nice trap builder in my opinion. Because if you think about it, when you're coming up on the deadlift, you're starting here, coming up, the traps are holding it 
all the way up to the top and it's almost like that farmer's walk where you walk and kind of hold the weight and the traps are being activated. Throughout the whole entire deadlift and rack pull, your traps are activated holding basically that weight under you with the deadlifts and even the rack pulls. Something I did focus on with my rack pulls though is when I come up here almost doing like a little little shrugging moment at the end of my rack pulls opposed to just coming up and going like this, I would come up and almost go like this really contracting those traps and making sure they hit during the deadlift movement. Now, I talked about this a little bit earlier, is the negative part of the movement. Study after study after study has shown that the negative movement is almost more, if not more, affected than the actual movement itself. And really controlling that weight and breaking down the muscle fiber in a different way is very helpful and definitely something to recommend, especially with the traps. Let me go ahead and finish it up for this video. These are basically the exercises I did are just very commonly well known and used a lot and as far as building up the traps but people I feel like are doing it wrong. I get it there is a time and a place to go extremely heavy on some movements but you never want to sacrifice that form. Not only will it lead to injury like it did with my neck and I you know I had constant neck problems because of these very heavy you know shrugs going like that but I feel like if you really slowly control especially with the traps they will really build Give it a shot guys, it really worked for me as you guys can tell with the picture yet again and some of the videos I've been posting in my physique update. I'm really excited for basically everything to come with YouTube. Once again, I say this in every video, but bring you guys more physique update. I started low carbs a couple days ago. Um, not low, well, I'm, for some people it's low. For me it's low, 125 carbs, 83 grams of fat, and 210 protein are my new macros. And the cut is getting really real, we're 10 weeks out. I'm really excited and everything's kind of coming together and the traps are really starting to pop. Anyways guys, let's go ahead and wrap up the video. Give these three movements a shot. Tell me what you guys think and remember, usually to build any muscle, you have to be in a caloric surplus so remember to eat a lot as well. I'm Bob Mikulacek, coming from Bob Mikulacek Fitness YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next video.